Good Thursday evening, everybody. Come on in. It's time to get dinner going, y'all. I was so excited about my roast. That roast beef that I did on top of the stove was so good. It was so tender. I, I couldn't hardly believe it. I am still marveling over how great it was. Y'all, hold one minute. Let me answer my call. And I'm back, y'all. That was one of my good friends. You know what? I'm so excited. I just got off the phone with my big sister, as I call her, Trisha. Hey, Trisha. Hope you get your uh, TV and stuff straight out so you can get on here and look at your little sister do her thing. Um, for She was not my blood sister, but a, a young lady that was a friend of my brother. And, and I just consider, I always thought of her as my big sister. And we call, we don't talk like every day, even every week, maybe every month or so. But when we talk, we talk hour, hour and a half, two hours. Today we talk two hours and 30 minutes. Otherwise, I would have been finished with this cooking. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to call her and we're going to just sit on the phone and talk just as long as we want to. And that's exactly what we did. I feel so good. I'm excited. And I'm excited about this meal I'm getting ready to cook as well. This, my friends, is uh, two pieces of pork loin. So the last time I cooked, I cooked... Uh, beef this is pork i have seasoned it with all my usual seasonings and one thing that i did because you know pork can get a little dry on you i've had it soaking in some olive oil and i've got some uh, olive oil spray in my pan so i'm going to see because i'm convinced that since i cooked that uh, beef in the skillet went ahead and, and browned it first this is olive oil and seasoning i'm just going to pour all of that on there you know, again, you know, pork tends to be a little dry. We're going to get all our good seasoning and all that olive oil. And then I've got this uh, stove up on high. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Whew, I can't hardly wait to be able to taste this, y'all. Okay, I'm going to do it on high for a little while. You know, it doesn't take that long to cook pork anyway. I'm not going to put it in the oven. I'm going to do it just like I did the beef. So, hope you all got something lined up to have for dinner this evening. This is a nice green salad that I've already cut up. I'm going to go ahead and slide it in the fridge. That is just some of that baby lettuce and cucumbers. And in this little bowl, we're going to have us some nice uh, corn with brown sugar and butter. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, you don't have to do a whole big production to get a gourmet meal on the table. And this is going to be so wonderful. That, let, let me tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm, and I'm not kidding. When I got off here and sat down and ate that beef stew that I cooked on top of the stove, that was some of the best beef stew that I've ever made. Now, I don't know. I'm going to find out today, though, how much it had to do with cooking it in this cookware on top of the stove. And by the way, the name of this cookware is called, well, you can't see it, but well, there it goes. It's called Eurocast. It is a waterless cooking system whereby it cooks, it infuses flavor, and you don't have to use water, and it cooks food a little bit faster. So what I'm going to add to this well, I'm going to wait until after I turn it over. But I'm going to cook it on this side for a good five minutes. i got a couple more minutes to go with that. So for a good five minutes, I'm going to allow it to cook. And then I'm going to flip it over. And then what I'll do is go ahead and put my onions in on top of it. And then I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to let it cook just like I did the beef. And so with that, we're going to have um, the corn and the nice salad. And I might even do some bread again. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Um, if Kareem wants some bread, I will cook him some bread. I got to back off y'all, honey. I, 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 I'm telling you. That French bread is just absolutely wonderful. Okay. Now, these are, these are, I didn't realize it was this much of this pork. But since I had it all thawed out, I thought, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cook the whole thing. Yep. I think it's ready to turn. Oh, yeah. 
Isn't that just a wonderful looking now? Aren't those beautiful? So what I'm going to do now, I've got me a mixture here. This is some, this is like a, this is a half a cup size container. This is a fourth of a cup of a Bragg's vinegar, onion powder, garlic powder, and um, black pepper, and my everything but the kitchen sink seasoning. I just made that little mixture up in the base of this is uh, a, it's a vinegar base. So I'm just going to drizzle just a little bit. Cause I, like I say, we don't do um, water in here. So we're going to do it just like that. Because I want to infuse this meat with this little vinegar base. And I put a little brown sugar in there to cut. To cut. Notice I said to cut that um vinegar a little bit because you know vinegar can be, can be very very sharp and you know brass vinegar it's pretty sharp so we're going to go ahead and season up uh, these onions just put a little bit of seasoning on those onions not a lot and then i'm going to just drop them in so that they can help season that pork okay turn that heat down a little bit I want to put carrots in here so bad, but I don't want it to taste like roast beef. I want it to taste like roast pork. Okay. Okay. Got everything in, and I'm just gonna drizzle. Now this this see this little drizzle here is optional. It, to me, it's just really really good. I'm just gonna put it right on top, a little bit on my onions. And I would think that this is going to have to cook maybe 30, 45 minutes. Because again, you don't have to cook pork quite as long because it's just that cut of meat that you don't have to, okay? Mm -hmm. That should be wonderful, y'all. So, if you want to catch up now, a pork loin is all it is. And I'm going to put the lid on here like so. And what that lid, what that's going to do is going to seal in all of that steam. And it's going to cook that meat just like it did. Because you remember I told y'all that cut of meat that I did was chuck. And chuck is not tender, tender, tender. But that meat was so good and so tender, y'all. I could not believe it. And it was, the taste was out of this world. So we're just going to let that cook like that. And we're going to leave it on now for about 30 to 45 minutes. We'll see how it is after 30 minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll let y'all know. Okay? So hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I am back. Now this is what those uh, two pork tenderloins are looking like. They are so tender. I'm just going to let them cook. I want that um, broth in there. I want it to reduce all the way down. So pork has more water content into it. And so it's fine because... All that juice will cook into the meat. I kind of scored it right across there. And of course, you know, you don't serve, well, I don't serve pork raw with any pink in it at all. I don't. So anyway, I'm going to let that cook right on down. And uh, I did go ahead and steam a little bit of rice to go with it. You know, you got to have rice to soak up some of that juice. And, I'm, and uh, we're going to see what happens. This is the first time I've ever cooked pork like this in a pan. So, it's beautiful. It's cooking nicely. It's reducing down. I'm going to let it reduce all the way down. And then um, I'm going to slice it and we're going to sit down, relax, and enjoy a flavor this y'all. So y'all hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, I've allowed that um, broth in there to reduce all the way down. If you talk about something good, I'm going to let it sit there and rest a little while. So you see how I cooked it all the way down? And it has, uh, you don't have to add anything. Think, you know, it, this is what you call reducing when you have a broth like that. Just let it cook down until it thickens and uh, get some of the wateriness out of it. So we're ready to go with this, y'all. So we're going to slice it up here in a few minutes and sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Everything is ready. I've got this set up. This will feed four, I think, real good. Nice dinner for four. i got some steamed jasmine rice, uh, some sweet buttery uh corn that's my little garden salad back there with cucumbers and 
some uh, baby lettuce and I'm gonna cut some um, avocado over it. Got all that, but I'm gonna get it though. And of course, that's my, um, these are my roasted, pan roasted uh, pork tenderloin. They are wonderful, y'all. And my sauce, that little sauce, this, this is about, uh, I guess about maybe three pounds of pork. So what I'm going to do, to help us along, I'm gonna take it right out of the pan. And as you can see, that broth is reduced all the way down. It has that nice onions in there. So we'll serve that over rice. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and slice some pieces of this pork uh, like so. Nice and tender. No pink in there, y'all. I told y'all we don't do pink on pork. Beef either, for that matter. These folk right here don't. I'm just going to cut one of these up. But this is nice and tender. As you can see. I can't wait to dig into that. Whew. The best thing to do, though, is let it rest for a little bit so it won't um, kind of uh, shred. If you, when you're cutting, you want some nice little medallions here. And this is what we got. Some nice pork medallions. Oh, it smells good, y'all. Smells good, smells good. And once I get done cutting it, I'm gonna put it right back into the pan. So, as you can see, oh, y'all need to see me cut it. I'm so sorry, so sorry. I sat there and cut it and you didn't even see me. I'm sorry I didn't have the camera on it. But anyway, I've, I've sliced it. And as you can see, we don't do the pink in, in pork or beef. So these are nice little cut medallions. We're gonna spoon some of that gravy over it when we get it onto the plate. We're not getting ready to eat right now, but I wanna just go ahead and get it cut up so when we get ready to eat, we can just dig right in and not have to worry about it. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm gonna put that pork right back into this skillet with that uh, reduced vinegar-based gravy. So, thank y'all for tuning in, y'all. Thank you for your well wishes, your prayers, your comments, and compliments. I tell you, I'm still just blown away uh, with going over 50,000. My station is, channel rather, is still just booming. Still getting not just the, the for the views and all, but for the good compliments and comments that you all have given me uh, to encourage me. Thank y'all so much. So this is our Thursday evening dinner for Kareem and I. We get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Remember to pray without ceasing. We're still praying for our sisters and brothers down in Mississippi. My friend's family is there, and they're still um, uh, trying to cope with what's going on with the water. Of course, Ukraine is still struggling with that war, so please continue to pray for Ukraine that um, the blessings of the Lord will continue to rest with them and that nothing drastic happens. And of course, all the things that are in the news, all the corruption and the things that are going on, let's pray for our government, pray for our leadership, and pray for those who have charge over what is going on in this world today. So I thank y'all again for stopping by. I thank you for your well wishes, your prayers, your comments, and your compliments. Thank you always for uh, tuning in and for letting me know what's on your mind. And thanks again, too. I like it when you all let me know that you tried a recipe and it worked out well for you. I appreciate that. I really, really do because it lets me know that something I said made a difference, y'all. And that's what it's all about in this world today is to make sure that we say something to someone that makes a difference in their life. Uh, hey, Trisha. Trisha is my big sister. She lives in Georgia. Talked to her for two and a half hours today, and I'm so excited. Um, and doesn't it make you feel good when you talk to someone or call somebody, and they said, that's just what I needed. So we were what each other needed today. I talked to some other people today, and we had the best conversation, conversations of encouragement, conversations talking about the goodness of the Lord and, and uh, about preaching the gospel and understanding and getting an understanding of what we're going through, being kind and respectful. So... With that being said, I'm going to tune out because I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy a plate of this food. As a matter of fact, I'm also going to go and visit one of my dear friends this evening if the rain doesn't come. 
So, until I decide to cook again, guys, do something kind for someone, a word, a deed, a cash app, a card, or just something. And also, remember, as always, pray without ceasing. Until we meet again, love you guys to the loo.